Ken, we've been talking about L-carnitine and the various forms that it takes. One of the earliest ones that your company, Sigma Tau, uh, created, uh, patented, and developed was uh, a form called acetyl or acetyl L-carnitine. That's right. Can That's you explain right. a, about that yes, a little bit? Uh, acetyl carnitine is an astounding, astounding uh, uh, form of carnitine. As a matter of fact, there are, there are a number of researcher friends and uh, associates I have that say that if they had only one form of carnitine to take, they would take acetyl carnitine. It's, uh, it's got the ability to uh, jump from the bloodstream into the uh, spinal canal, so that means it's able to pass the blood-brain barrier and be available to, to, to work metabolically on nerve tissue. This is very, very significant. Research that we've shown, uh, that we've performed, shows that carnit uh, carnit acet uh, acetylcarnitine, or ALCAR, our trade name for the uh, the drug form of it uh, is uh, able to uh, to actually make changes in nerves and and brain cells over time. Now, here again, it's we're, it's not a cure for anything. It's not, uh, but it has been looked at as a possible strong support, or it's actually a drug form pending for the uh, support of uh, Alzheimer's disease. And so, essentially. This is a, it's a highly remarkable form of carnitine, and I think that there are very few people that uh, would not benefit from it. So your company, uh, Sigma Tau, in addition to um, producing uh, acetyl L-carnitine uh, as a supplement, also does create a version of it that is, in fact, a, used as a drug. Uh, exactly. What, right. Is there a difference between these two products? Uh, well, the... Uh, Mostly, mostly the, the difference is in the way they're administered. And so, um, essentially, the drug form would be administered intravenously in the, what they call a bolus. So it would be uh, three grams given into, into, into the, directly into the bloodstream. Whereas the, um, and here again, you know, I, I don't want to cross the line between dietary supplement and drug, but I mean, many times the mode of administration for uh, a product will determine whether it's a drug just as much as the active principle in there. So the way you give it, anything you inject is going to be considered a drug. Uh, but that there are also uh, drug forms that are available for oral administration too. And here again, it depends on the country and the, and the uh, health ministry practices as to what is considered a drug and what is considered a dietary supplement. We're fortunate in the U.S. that this stuff is available over the counter and that people are able to get the benefit from it. And that, um, uh, so from that standpoint, you know, I find that taking 500 milligrams to a gram of acetylcarnitine a day has helped me tremendously. Mm -hmm. I, I've been doing this for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So I think when a, from a consumer standpoint, something that they should be interested in is that a company like uh, Sigma Tau is able, to, it manufactures products that can meet the standards of, of uh, prescription drugs even. So you're, you're a uh, pharmaceutical grade manufacturer. Uh, you, you meet all the regulations that are required to, for quality and... Exactly right, Tom. You know, we, we made a decision early on that um, you know, when, you're in the, when you're in the pharma business, you have strict uh, GMPs, and, uh, which, are, which are general uh, good manufacturing practices that you have to adhere to that are government mandated. And that many times in the nutritional supplement industry, although it's moving in that direction, there was not these types of regulations or practices uh, in place. And we found that we had no other way of running our business. We couldn't take advantage of shortcuts. We just didn't know how because it wasn't our, wasn't our culture. Mm -hmm. So everything we make is pharma grade. They're all synthetically manufactured. There's no chance of any contamination from outside sources because essentially we use a cookie cutter pharmaceutical process for all of our products. And by the way, this, this type of reproducibility has been uh, uh, very key in helping us to move to the next level of carnitine uh, uh, production, which are the so-called amino carnitines, which have been in the market now for over three years and have very wide acceptance. Mm -hmm. And we have a specialized form of acetyl carnitine called arginocarn uh, that is uh, showing tremendous promise as being the next, the next, how should I say, improved version of acetylcarnitine. Thank you very much, Ken.